This is a 2014 Nissan NV200 uh, SV, the fancy model. They only came in uh, two models in the US, the S and the SV. The only difference is that the SV has cruise control, white mirrors, ooh, and a white bumper, ooh, and uh, heated mirrors, which is nice. And I really do like the cruise control and the heated mirrors. I've got the, uh, the city necessary bumper guard in the front. And uh, the outside, though, is, is, you know, I'm going for stealth here. I don't have anything on the outside that lets you know it's a camper. Of course, if the doors are open, it's obvious. On the roof, there's 200 watts of solar. Each panel's 100 watts. That vent there is a, uh, it's called a vent line van air. It's a nice compact vent. And then I had the two roof rack things. So I just stuck them in the back in case I ever want to put anything on the roof. In the front, it's your standard uh, layout for a van here. There's this clipboard holder up here, which is nice. And I really like this. This uh, The passenger seat folds down into a desk. And I've got this leapfrog. Is that what it's called? Tree frog? I forget what it's called. But it's this big gel mat. And anything you stick on there just kind of sticks. Except maybe fruit. A uh, couple of cup holders. Uh, I've got a... GoPro Hero 8 mounted there. I'm doing some time-lapse stuff. And that other device there is a Garmin Speak Plus, which is Alexa Siri. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. Alexa, hello. Hmm. I don't know that one. It doesn't know hello. Anyway, that's Alexa. I, I'm addicted to Alexa. And there's a microphone mounted in the ceiling that goes to the stereo, which has CarPlay. I always have this in the car because hello. when the curtains are closed... That's really all you can see from the outside, and it makes it look like a workman's vehicle. Um, I installed some wind deflectors. Anyway, and I put the stripes down here, and they faded quickly, and I'm like, I'm okay with that. It adds to the stealth effect. But I'll show you the inside. All right, so here's the inside of the van. I installed all these cabinets. Um, these are all IKEA Eket system. Yeah, okay, I know. IKEA is probably not the best thing to put in a van, but uh, Eket is nice because it comes in different widths, and I was able to build around the wheel wells. So I've got um, fire extinguisher, and that's drinking water there. This blue thing here, as you can see here, that's my main water. That feeds this faucet here. There's an electric pump in there. This sink, my lovely sink is actually a dog bowl from Ikea that I drilled a hole into and then put the drain in. And I'm going to do something you should never do when you're showing a van tour. I'm going to show you my electrical stuff. Um, you can see the drains right there. And there's my electrical. Over here on the right is a Renogy MPPT solar controller. That's on the roof. Um, yeah, I've got flowers in my van. Um, this, I'll show you why that metal spout's on there in a minute. Um, I put hooks everywhere because it's a good way to carry stuff. And um, yes, there's some nice prairie flowers. Got a glass shelf here, and that's because this is kind of my medicine cabinet. And this allows me to like take stuff out and put it here while I'm, you know, getting ready. Got my mirror. Hey, it's you. Hi. And close that up. There's what the vent looks like from the inside. And you can see you just pull this and the vent closes. And then over here is the control panel for everything. So I just turned on that vent. There's a fan back there, fresh water pump. You can see how this works. This, uh, this valve is interesting, it has an electric switch in it. And when you do that, water comes out. It's just cold water, I don't need hot water. Um, the curtains here separate the front. That's just a shower curtain rod there that does that. That's a table that does all kinds of crazy stuff that I've attached there. It's my 12 volt kettle. Um, on the floor here, I've got this, it's one of those standing mats. You stand on this to do dishes and stuff. I find it really helpful because I do tend to kneel a lot in here. Now this piece of furniture here, well, all right, and this is a table, another Ikea find I just installed. This piece of furniture here is kind of how this all works. If you look down here, like that, see that? And that's the bed. This, which I'm not gonna do, this whole thing here folds over and makes the bed. And you can see when the bed's down, it's kind of all the space there is. But that's fine. I'm only gonna be sleeping in here when the bed's down. All right, on this side, 
I've got a wall of, uh, this is a Velcro wall I built so I can stick everything Velcro on there. USB fan, I have lots of fans. I've got that fan back there, that's a marine fan. Um, I've got this fan up here, like I already told you about, and I have this oscillating fan here. When it's really hot and humid, I need all the fans. This one is a USB fan that I can plug into the outlet here. Right now I'm charging a GoPro battery there. This, uh, this switch is for my emergency lights. On the ceiling here, I have emergency lights that uh, if I kill my battery for whatever reason, those will still work. And this here are the controls. You can see this, barely see this red light up here. Um, that's, that's for nighttime stuff, like stealth stuff. And if I were ever gonna go uh, stargazing in this, I would have the red lights on then. And I have the spotlight here. This is another backup light. No matter what, I can always just turn that on and I'll have instant light. That is a um, Amazon Fire, another Alexa. I've got my weather system here, indoor and outdoor temperature. Uh, yep, another plant. But that plant has a secret. You know what this plant's secret is? It's a lever. This opens up and in there I store fuel and other things so it's also a good place to hide things because i don't know if anyone broke in here they would ever know that there was a secret storage compartment there over here is the fridge because you gotta have a fridge right actually you don't have to have a fridge but i have a fridge this is my alpa cool 15l you can see the controls there and then i store my blankets on top of it because heck they can only help and then inside there's all my food and it's at 38 degrees right now. It varies about five degrees, but uh, eh, it's pretty good. So uh, let's see, I have these drawers here. That's like my big junk drawer. Oop. And here I have my butane stove and some other stuff. This comes out and then I put it over here when I'm cooking and that has worked fine. I haven't had any issues with that at all. Another drawer here is my cooking stuff. All of my, this is this is a lovely little Stanley cook kit. Everything I need to cook is in here. Masks, because it's that time of the year. Um, and this other Stanley piece, really. These two things are all I need to do all my cooking. And then, oh yes, important things here. So you're like, hmm, why does he have toilet paper in here? He must run out into the woods and, no, 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 no. It's secret number two. Here's secret number two, down here, see this? pull this out this slides away and voila la toilette that's your, just your standard camping uh camping thing there you slide that back into place which is easier with two hands and when someone isn't filming you uh the ceiling is just a piece of uh, paneling that's done like wainscoting these lights are kind of fun you can dim them they get brighter, and you tap them again, they go out, and they remember. So I usually keep them on their dimmest setting, actually. And then I can turn them off with the switch down here, and they remember. I've got two of those. Right. So in the back here, uh, here's every place I've slept in the van so far. I actually need to add one here, because I just did that last night. Um, this, this one here, I seem to, this one in Wisconsin, I always end up there, even if I'm not planning on it. Um, this material here is called four-way stretch carpet. I covered the whole van in it. Some reading material if I ever actually read. Oh, and this is a vent. This is a weird thing I did. Um, I installed this vent here. And that vent is actually behind the license plate. So uh, it's invisible from the outside. But it lets that fan on top suck air in. So that looks pretty well. And then... Um, when vans, they have this thing called a garage and most full-size vans, you mount a bed and then under the bed's called the garage. I don't really have that. So I just hang all my stuff here. I mean, this is my pillow. I find that these are really good for hanging stuff off of all my clothes and stuff. I keep in there lots more hooks. And uh, over here, I built a pocket and has a bunch of stuff in it. Uh, that is a carbon monoxide, explosive gas detector, and smoke alarm, all those things need to have that. I have another smoke alarm installed in the electrical cabinet, which is, I think, a good idea. This side is kind of the utility side of things. It's not all that attractive. Um, this is my trash. So the trash is kind of hidden. You just toss things in over here. 
This is my backup lithium battery system. If I kill all the power in the van for whatever reason, I have this as a backup, and that is enough to power the fans and lights all night long. Uh, I, apparently, I have an issue with uh, backup systems because I have several, but it's good to have. And this is my uh, gray water, which I will dispose of uh, when it's time in the appropriate manner. And you see here, there's this hook. That's for this. So this is my shower. This is just a regular old shower head and it's got stop and that hangs up here when I have two hands. And this, this part here, see this swivels around completely there. And then this goes on here and then this becomes the shower. And so I can take a shower anytime I want, as long as I don't mind having cold water. And if you're thinking, but you're going to be out in the parking lot taking a shower or whatever, you might think that's silly. And I'm like, oh no, I have a solution for that too. Because under here is, this is a tent that turns into a shower cubicle. So this is a, uh, it's a 12 volt oven. So and um, what I've got here is a pantry, which I didn't show. And in the pantry, I've got all kinds of food. I mean, I've got soup. What's this? Canned chicken. I can mix anything with some rice, peanut butter and jelly. If I get desperate. Oh, and these things, this is my desperation food. They're like, these are like frozen dinners that aren't frozen. You can always dump that, uh, <laughs> into a pot and cook it. Yeah. There's my coffee. I know. Oh, diced green chilies. I figure I can do something with them. So anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing on this trip. Number one, most important thing. First thing you should ever buy when you're doing a van build is right here. Fire extinguisher. Buy the van, buy the fire extinguisher, or even buy the fire extinguisher first. That's not a bad idea either. I mean, I've got some more junk drawers here. Oh, these things are great. Hot hands. So I use these in the winter when I sleep in here. Um, I put them in the bottom of the sleeping bag and they really do an amazing job of keeping you warm at night. I also have a propane heater that I use, which I've taken out for this trip. It hangs between these hooks right here and um, there's just no need to have it on this trip. So that's it. Her name's Pagurus. She's got 141,000 miles on her and uh, I think I'm probably gonna end up getting another van next year, but I will do a more professional tour when I'm able. But for right now, I'm going to sign off. So thank you for watching.